Very nice. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, 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 welcome. Um, uh, we are here. Uh, Blaine's a couple, he said he'd be a couple minutes late, so he might pop in here in a second. So I got to make sure I'm watching chat, uh, make sure that he's here uh, when he does pop up. So tonight I wanted to discuss a few things. So before we get started, uh, if you're watching this replay, inside of the description of the video is a PDF download. Uh, and this is kind of the worksheet that we're going to be working with tonight. Uh, and, it, and it'll make sense why we're talking about uh, our one thing here in a little bit. Uh, but uh, the PDF download, it will add more to the experience, I guess. You can download it whenever you want, but hopefully you can download it and kind of follow along. We're going to do a little bit of uh, self-reflection and uh, personal discovery, I guess, lessons. It's kind of weird. Anywho, um, let's dive into it. So I've been reading... A lot of, um, there's been a lot of, of uh, posts recently and news bits uh, talking about how nine out of 10 millennials want to be a social influencer in one form or the other. Uh, I've also read a whole lot of uh, tidbits and, and blog posts about uh, a huge percentage of people want to discover how to build businesses online, want to work from home, want to take advantage of all these cool social media platforms, and they, they want to build businesses using all of these things that are at our disposal. So I read these, I read these articles, and, and it, part of me is pretty excited, right? It's like, cool, man, let's, let's, let's get fired up, let's get pumped up about online business. So that's great. But I'm sitting there thinking, okay, nine out of 10 millennials. Now, I'm not talking about us in general, because obviously, we are not in that demographic. We are, uh, uh, we are not the millennial generation, thank goodness. No offense to the millennials. Shout out to you guys. Don't want to get you guys triggered or anything today. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just me trying to be funny. Uh, trying to be relevant in 2019. So um, it, it's exciting when you read all of these news bits about people that want to leverage the tools that are available to build businesses. I think the gig economy entrepreneurship in 2019. I think this stuff is really, really exciting because it's a lot, the, the tools that are there for us, there's, there's so many, right? There's so many of these things available for us. Uh, you know, it's, it's just, it's just really, really exciting. So that's good. On one side of the coin, it's good. Nine out of 10 people, millennials are fired up. And then there was another post I read about how a big chunk of people uh, that are discovering all these new social media platforms for the first time are starting to say, you know what, I'm going to do this as a part-time job. I'm going to build an online business. I'm going to get into affiliate marketing. So there's a, there's a, there's a general feeling of, of excitement, let's say, in the business, in the industry. So that's cool. That's great. Here's the problem. If nine out of 10 people want to become a social influencer or want to build an online business, that means there's going to be people that lose because any of these in can't sustain nine out of 10 people. Like it's just, it's not going to happen. It's totally flipped. It's usually one out of 10 that usually succeeds. Right? So it's, it's, it's a, it's an uphill battle. So this is, this is why we're going to work on this little worksheet tonight as well as kind of frame it, how you guys can capture because we're all we're all entrepreneurs. We all want to build businesses online. I think that's that goes without saying. But we need to get the tools and the the focus needed. Hi, John. Welcome to separate ourselves. We need to completely separate ourselves from the pack. This is why. If nine out of 10 people are trying to build businesses online or become a social influencer, hi, Russell, welcome. How, how are you going to stick out, right? How are you going to stick out from the, the massive amount of noise that's out there? Think about it. This is, if you go back to the original training at Click Track Profit, this is years, we're going years ago. What was one of the lessons that we always talked about? We always talked about you need to stick out like a sore thumb. So last. Um, do SAP. Don't use standard affiliate pages. There's, th this is not like new advice, right? This is stuff that we've talked about and you guys know about for, for years and years and years. The problem is that little bit of news gossip has kind of been quieted down. 
because hi scott welcome because now it just feels like you could just anybody can just jump up and say you know what i'm a social influencer i'm going to build a business online i'm a success no you have to separate yourself you've got to give people a reason for tuning in hi blaine are you here blaine's here okay so let's get blaine up i don't know if he was here one sec Lane's coming up. Please hold. Hi, Blaine. Hello, hello. Good timing. Okay. Here's the scoop. And hopefully, Blaine, I, I sent PDFs for everybody. Hopefully, you've downloaded your PDF to follow along as well. I'm going to open it right now. Nice. Get the printers working. Exactly, Sean. You got to be the purple cow, right? You've got, you've, you've, you've got to do things that everybody else doesn't do. Now, that doesn't mean you need to revolutionize the world. Look, what me and Blaine doing are not revolutionizing the world here. We're just showing up every day, getting on camera, talking, building businesses, working with people. I mean, the, the message here is that you've got to find your calling. And just saying, I want to make money online isn't going to cut it. It's really not. Guess why? Because everybody wants to make money online. You know, remember that we were doing, we were doing, we were going through gauntlet games last night and we saw Russell's, squeeze page right and it was like who wants 20 bucks it's like everybody's hand went up so telling people oh i want to make money online that's why i'm trying to build a business online it's not going to cut it this is what this worksheet is for okay because you've got to find your one thing you've got to find the one thing that you absolutely love that you can go like i describe in here a year building it without even the thought of making a dollar from it now of course like you know we've got it set up with ctp talk where you can make money right away from creating content but you've got to go into this going once i find my one thing once i find the thing that i want to be branded as and known as as the expert i'm gonna bust my butt and if money comes great but i'm not expecting it because the problem is people flip it Problem is people jump online with the thing, oh, I want to make money online, but they haven't done this exercise of discovering what is it that's going to deliver the income for them to build businesses online. For me, as you guys know, my history started with advertising resources online. It morphed into more cryptocurrency and social media content creation now. So my one thing is almost teaching, teaching, training, to get people into the mindset of this, of, of this opportunity that's here. But the problem is, is that there's a lot of people doing the same thing I'm doing. So how can I get better? Well, how can I, I'm just using myself as an example. I'm doing the guinea pig thing here. I read a lot of books. I watch a lot of different videos. I keep myself abreast of what's going on inside of the industry. I'm always taking action. I'm creating content all the time. I'm engaging with people all the time. Again, Nothing revolutionary, but because I filled this thing out, not this one specifically, but I've, I've done this exercise. Remember my three vital functions. I've talked about that a lot over the years. Once I've broken that down and discovered what I'm really good at, what I have a passion for, and what I can concentrate on, everything else is noise. Now I know what I need to do to build a business online. Does that make any sense? Hi, Blaine. How are you doing? What do you think? I, uh, I completely agree. People have to find their thing, uh, no matter what it is. For me, uh, for the long, to longest time, it took me like five years to figure out that I needed a thing. Like I needed to figure out uh, something and, 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 and follow that path. Um, and then it morphed into what it is now, which is training, list building, uh, and developing things. Um, and that's my thing at this point is just back-end development work um, and teaching people how to make money online and the, and the ins and outs of it. Uh, so yeah, you can't do, uh, and it's similar to the, uh, shiny object thing. 
Yeah. Uh, when you first come online, I want to make money online. Shiny object, I'm going to do that. Well, that hasn't worked. Here's a new shiny object, I'm going to do that. And then here's a new shiny object, new, 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 and all this other stuff. You can't do that. You can't bounce from thing to thing to thing. And we were talking about in the Gauntlet Games the other day, the affiliates that make money on all these products, these shiny objects, um, they're not bouncing from program to program. They have their one core thing. Right. They're building that one core thing, building their list, building a massive responsive list. And then they email out to that list about these little things. Hey, this might be of use. Hey, this might be of use. Uh, and that's how they're making that money online. They're not, again, they're not bouncing from program to program. They're not advertising traffic exchanges inside of traffic exchanges. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah, it's, it, it, it's th th what I wanted to do tonight. And this is, I can't, I'm kind of catching you off guard here because I haven't even told you what my plan was tonight. But the PDF was, was kind of a self-discovery thing. I wanted people to kind of just write down three ideas of things that they really, really love to, to talk about, uh, discuss, build, like just things that they love doing online. So video games, um, email marketing, social media, just pick three things, right? That's the easy exercise. The next part though is where you've got to do some self-discovery. So you, you, you take that down from three to one and you go, what thing can I concentrate on over the next year to learn everything I can about it, to focus on it without getting a penny, but I'm so in love and I got so much passion towards this one thing. This is what I want to focus on. So that's literally step one of, of tonight was to do this. And this is nothing that me and Blaine can help you guys with. It's nothing. I can't, I can't tell you, Jen, to go get into um, stock trading, for example, right? That's your thing. That's something you like. I can't tell you to do that. That's something you've discovered on your own, what you have a passion for. The next part of it, though, was to going over the action steps to help you guys. Once you have that one thing, the next thing is we're going to go through some things I have list down here. And I'll, I'll ping them back and forth between me and Blaine, and we'll discuss them. Uh, and hopefully it gives you guys some good ammunition to go forward. So this, again, is, is personal self-discovery. This is stuff you got to do on your own time. There's nothing, no training in the world will be able to do this. This is you, heart and soul, pen and paper, writing down what you love doing and finding that one thing. Now we'll go through some steps on how to make that year as, as, as valuable as possible. So if that sounds good, can I get a, can I get a high five from, from Becky in Idaho? Becky in Idaho is on the call today. Uh, we got, we got, we got Gene from Oregon. Hello, Gene. We see you. Uh, Bob from Mississippi. We see you on the call too. Uh, stay tuned after the, uh, the event for, for, for an, an offer that will be really great beneficial. Yeah. Okay. That didn't work, did it? at all no cool okay here we go so the one thing that i did when i got started um not only having the mentality like i i literally went like blaine said he took five years right to to kind of find his thing um for me it was a little bit less than that um it, but it was still it was about three years i'd say so once i got it right? Once I discovered what I wanted to focus on, I made the conscious effort and decision that for the next year, and this is when I, I fell in love with reading books, for the next year, I would be a sponge. That's it. I would not, I would not necessarily throw my opinions out there as, as an authority figure. I would not get into tiffs and arguments with people on blogs. I was just going to be a sponge. So for a year, what you need to do is learn absolutely everything about that one thing that you possibly can. Go to the forums, go to the blogs, go to the social media groups, read the books about it, go to the offline seminars, go to the online seminars, watch TED Talks about it, uh, personal discovery about that said topic for a year. This is part one. We got a few we're going to go through, but this is the first thing I think you guys need for a a mindset shift in building a business online. Once you find your one thing, now you've got to arm yourself with knowledge and that will take time. You can't rush this. It's not like, Oh, I'm going to be 
the greatest email marketer in the world. I'll build a list of 10,000 people in a month from now, and I'll be making six figures within a month and a half. No, it's I'm going to be an email marketer. I'm going to go start researching email marketing. I'm going to learn about autoresponders. I'm going to learn about uh, split testing. Uh, I'm going to learn about uh, my mom calling again. Right, perfect time. Hi, mom. Right on time, right in the middle of the seminar. Nope. Everybody's great. You can you can watch us on Vim. We're, now you know how to know it. You can go back to Vim and you can watch us. We're live. Okay. <laughs> All right. My mom's going to come watch us on Vim. So there you go. Um, okay. So uh, the point being is that if you want to, okay, so the example is let's be email marketers. Well, this is what you would do. You would arm yourself with all the knowledge you can about autoresponders, split testing, tracking. Um, you would also maybe get into reading some books on ad copy, on web copy, um, on, on headlines, on, on different uh, advertising methods. That's what I did. When I first got started online, this is what hooked me to, I, the first book I ever bought was 22 Immutable Laws of Branding by Al Rees. That went into Mar Marie Valesio, I think, or web copy that sells. That was my next book. Then I discovered Purple Cow. Then I, and then I went into some Jeffrey Gittimer sales Bible books. It was a good year of, of digging deep and finding all the information I could about that topic that gave me the confidence, let's say, to start blogging, to start creating content, to start getting out there and putting myself out as an authority figure. So step one for that year, become an absolute sponge. Blaine Jones, what do you think of that advice? I completely agree. Learn everything you can. You have to become a product of the product, no matter what that what that is. Uh, and you have to absorb every single little thing possible. Um, if, if, if your thing is, uh, I forgot what you had just said, John. My bad. Uh, email marketing. Email marketing. Jesus. I was, I see, I was going to say list building. It all <laughs> same runs thing. in the same thing. Uh, but if, if, if that's what you want to get into, um, learn everything from, from, from start all the way until you get somebody onto the list and, and emails from there and, and moving on. You have to learn every single little step of the process and you have to figure it out um, and Google forums. There's many, many, many ways to, uh, to do it. Um, but yeah, you have to become a product of the product. You have to know it inside and out. Yep. Yeah. If your thing is click track profit, you have to know click track profit inside out. I know it inside out because that's my thing. He clowns me all the time saying, dude, you should probably learn this inside out. And I, I don't. There's so many stuff because he coded it. Okay. Hi, nosy. Welcome. I built the thing. Built I it. know everything about it. That's actually a really good tip though. I'm glad you brought that up. So let's say I'm not suggesting this. Okay. Again, the end goal of click track profit is to get you guys building your list, building your own businesses, right? That's the goal. But let's just say, you know, you want to spend that year and you believe in CTP. You believe in the community. For some unknown reason, you believe in Blaine and John. Whatever floats your boat. But you have big belief in CTP. This is what, this is a piece of advice. And I love giving credit to, to, to people that come up with this stuff way before I did. I credit this to Robert Putty. Robert Putty used to talk about this in his webinars all the time. And it was, you become the expert in something. That program, let's say it's CTP, learn everything about it. And then all you got to do, you know how easy it was for me to create this PDF file? It was literally open office, print it out, but you could create a little giveaway, a little, a little ebook and say the definite rules of success with CTP or five strategies with CTP. If you would create a little product, a lead magnet for your business, and then you just go to say Blaine and John and say, Hey, Blaine and John, look what I've created. How many times do you think Blaine and John would not only feature you in blog posts, but also blast our email list promoting you? Nugget, where is it? Hold on, getting it. Nugget, Nugget, <laughs> this is huge. This is a huge piece of, so if you are stuck and you know, you've gone through your, your, your three things and you, you, you're like, okay, I want to get into affiliate marketing, but I don't really know what I want to do, but I know I want to do affiliate marketing. That's an option. Become the expert, the go-to person in CTP. Create an entire ebook or a little training course, your own version of how to succeed at CTP. And exactly, Sean, give it away. 
it's a it's a it's a lead magnet what a lead magnet does is just it's a piece of value you put out in the market so people join your list raise of hands who would promote it for you there's two guys on camera right here so big huge nugget hi tauntaun welcome i love when my offline friends jump on the onto the, the show so yes so that is a huge nugget yeah, um, yeah no that Go ahead. Sorry. I was gonna say that's a that's a great uh, business plan, and I've seen it before, and I've done it before. Find a program, whatever it is, CTP uh, would be great. You can do any other program that you want. Realistically, become an expert on that thing. Write a simple five page like ebook thing explaining why you should follow your rules or whatever, and then do like a video series, and you can sell that stuff, and and, and people will pay seven dollars, fourteen dollars, whatever. Uh, for that series. So you're building your list, you're building that funnel, you're pushing people down the funnel, all because you decided to become an expert in one thing. And the thing is, is you don't have to become an expert on your own. There are people out there that are more than willing to help you and give you information on whatever that product may be. We see it all the time in the Telegram. Eliana asked earlier what something meant on uh, the autoresponder. Uh, and I just, as soon as I saw it, I answered what it was and I, and I was there to help her out. And with CTP, you can ask me anything. You can ask John. Uh, there's lots of members of CTP that you can ask within the Telegram groups. Um, so you can very, very easily become an expert in something like CTP. Uh, so. Well, here's, here's you know, well, here's ba like the, we already got into some of the juicier stuff, but this is a really good topic and it could help a lot of you guys. So here's the game plan. Here's a little business idea for you guys. So you say you want to become the expert in CTP. So you'd give away, say a five to 10 page ebook with the, the insider secrets. This is free. This is the lead magnet. So this would get people on your list, but now you've got your funnel set up. And if you need to know about funnels, go and check out the lessons inside of CTP, but your funnel would be set up so that people would join your list for free, but then you could offer them an upsell. You could offer them a little $7 rebrandable ebook package or something like that. And then in that package has all the videos. So all of those five tips, you've actually done video. Did you know if you include the, the word video inside of your email headline, it will get 19% more opens? That's another nugget. But anyways, people will pay for video. They will pay for video training. So your little ebook has now been you know repurposed into a product now you have the video version of your little ebook that people would gladly pay five to seven bucks for or five to ten bucks for so now you got a little business so now you're continuing to become the expert in the topic remember this is still first year this is still first year we haven't even gone to the next one right I, I, blaine's like doing some like like dance with the the nugget thing right like yeah <laughs> it's like a peep show or something here. but um i'm trying to be serious but yeah it's a, just something like that it's it's it, it's as simple as creating a free report a little five to ten page book say it has five points and then you expand on it into video format now you've got something you can sell to people now you want, that's a little five to $10 product. You know, the way the marketing funnel, what's the next price point? Well, it's a higher price point. So you funnel people down from the free into the five to $7 product. And then you can even do a little $20 something, you know, or you can promote something that's around 20 bucks. Like, Oh, I don't know. Ready for the nugget traffic wave, right? Something like that. So just an idea. That, just an idea. That's just one little quick idea of how to set up a business literally and it like, you know, and you'd have people to promote it for you. Just a nugget. Okay. Consistency. That's the next one. So for the first year, you're learning it all. You're, you're, you're poking and prodding and trying to learn this stuff. But the second thing is consistency. Now, I don't want to call anybody out because it's not what I'm trying to do. But there's a lot of examples if you go on social media, especially Steam. Okay. If you go to Steam, uh, like my addicted self does every single day, you'll hear a ton of whining. There's a whole lot of people that were all gung ho for steam when steam was five bucks, but now they're not getting the big upvotes and they're not getting the, the $20 payouts for their posts and they're, they're depressed and, and, and they're giving up. And then you look at their track record. So when, you know, steam is five bucks, everybody and their mother is posting right? When steam is 15 cents, there's only a select group. You look at these people that are usually complaining, they go weeks, if not months between posts. And then they come back and go, woe is me. Well, 
here's, this is why, consistency. Consistency to me is the great game changer. It is the, it is the thing that separates the, the haves and the have nots in online business. It's the, it's the thing that doesn't cost any money, but does cost a lot of effort. And when you are consistent, you put yourself way ahead of the crowd. If you're going to do this, if you're going to get into trying to build a business online and you say, I'm going to do this and you're in it for a year, that part, the consistency part is probably the most important thing you can do. Don't do one blog post every month. Don't do one blog post every second week. It's a daily thing. That doesn't mean you have to post every day, but you need to engage every day. You need to show up every day. You need to leverage social media every day. You have to be seen every day. This is purple cow stuff too. So consistency is point two. What do you think, Mr. Blaine Jones? <clears throat> I completely agree with you. You agree with I me? didn't get big <laughs> uh, from, from just coming around every once in a while. Uh, John didn't make a name for himself by just showing up once a week. Uh, you have other people, uh, and like Tony Tezak comes to mind, uh, that didn't uh, get to where they're at by just coming around every once in a while. They became an expert in one thing. We always become an expert in one thing. And as that grows, that's when you start to branch out to other things. Right. Good Tony point. Tezak, for example, uh, did nothing but build his list for years and years and years. And then he launched an ebook. Yep. Kind of the same thing we just discussed. But I remember it. It was, I remember he actually met in Denver at a seminar. This is probably 15 years ago with him, Robert Putty, I think John Atwood, a few other guys, and developed this ebook. And it was, it was a bestseller. It was, it was fantastic. But he, just like you said, Blaine, he, he showed up every day. Hi, Karen. Welcome showed up every day and actually did this stuff. So it's, it's again, and I'm just, I, I just finished reading this book. If you guys, hopefully you follow me on steam. If you don't, you should, I'm awesome. Um, but uh, there's a book called the laws of brand storytelling that I just reviewed and read. And one of their laws was called the consistency law. And this is just to hammer this point home. Um, consistency is what makes your message clear. Consistency is what helped build your community. Consistency is what shapes your reputation. At times, consistency is the strategy. You want a building a business strategy online, bam, right there. Consistency is the strategy. I can't put it any plainer than they did. I highly recommend the book. You guys should check it out. Point number three, <clears throat> use social media and use visuals everywhere you can. Okay, here's the thing. Just putting a text-based hey, check out my new post on social media isn't going to cut it. You need to stick out. Use things like Canva. Very important. If you're going to use social media, which you should be in this first year, use it because it's free. It's You're leveraging millions and millions and millions of people. You can network with more people than you ever could imagine in the history of mankind. But you can't just put plain Jane text messages out. Remember, remember the first point that we talked about. If nine out of 10 people say they want to be social influencers, well, how are you going to social influence? You've got to be completely different than what everybody else is doing. What everybody else is doing is just, I'm feeling hungry on Twitter. I'm feeling sad on Facebook. I don't like Trump on another social media. I mean, that is not separating yourself. So use tools like Canva and then use a whole bunch of different social media platforms. I'm going to do a little shameless promotion here for a platform that just technically relaunched. It is the time to ever, if you've ever been involved in anything, and this is it right here. It is Epics. Okay. And look, Jen's, oh no, that's Eliana. Eliana is, is on Epics and she's pouring a glass of tea. That's pretty cool. What is Epics? Epics is Steam based, first of all. So of course, of course, you know me and Blaine. I got to talk about Steam. I mean, you know, it's, I got to. I'm going to upvote you, Eliana. Sorry, I didn't see this. You know, I got to upvote you. So I just upvoted. So Eliana just took a video, and this is it's basically Instagram on the blockchain, but it's brand new. 
So she just took a little quick video of her pouring a little glass into her little mug. There's the unicorn mug, the fancy unicorn mug. And I just gave her some money from it. Now, she didn't make a ton of money from it. She made about 25 cents from, from my upvote. But she's making money now using social media. And you see, this isn't a text space, right? This isn't text. This is visuals. This is how you do this stuff. You get away from just typing in text like, oh, I feel sad or I feel angry or I'm eating a watermelon for lunch. I mean, get, this is the stuff that works. Graphic based videos, stuff like this. Check out Epics. If you're new to Epics, you can get in touch with Jen. You can get in touch with me. You can talk to Eliana. We'll show you the way. Epics is basically Steam. It is, it is the Steam version of Instagram. The Instagram version. The Steam version of Instagram. Yes, the Steam version of Instagram. Absolutely fantastic. It just relaunched. They have their own token. So not only do you earn Steam on it, you also earn APX, which is their native token. So Eliana just got paid in Steam and she got paid in APX just by me saying I liked her little video thing. That's going sidetracking a little bit. But the point being, this point is to use the social media that is out there. Use graphics. Use videos. Don't just do plain Jane text. As I think Blaine is downloading Epics right now on his phone, aren't you? Blaine wants it. I tried to download it the other day and I couldn't get it downloaded. They had they did a blog post on because it's in beta still, right? So there's a blog post that they did on Steam that talks about it. Um, iOS, you need test flight for it, but Android, it should be in the Google Play thing. It's not in Google Play. <clears throat> well, I'll I'll send the link here. Hold on, let me give. I'll get the link for everybody here. So. Their, their latest blog post will, will go over um, what it is. So just give me a second, guys. Sorry, I know this is uh, getting a little sidetracked, but this is the blog post here. Um, you can check it out. Uh, that will go over how to download it because it is in beta. It's kind of, you got to get a private little invite, but once you get it on it, it works flawless. Uh, but, you know, really, really cool stuff. Uh, it works just like Instagram. It's just you get paid for it. And, you know, that's why we love it. So <clears throat> yeah, uh, point number three is to use social media, but use the visuals when you're using this stuff. <clears throat> Same with me, Jen. Uh, I, I've got a blog post I got planned tonight, but I might do a little epics post as well. I might start doing an epics post every day as well as my content just to just to keep it fresh because uh, it, it's pretty it's pretty slick. Yeah, try it again, Russell. I had to re-download it. Um, I had to re-download it. I, I totally, I actually got in touch with Neil, who's who's one of their influencers on there. And he just said, dude, just re-download it again and it'll work. Because it's not fully launched yet, it's in beta, we're kind of testing it. But it's awesome. Once you get it, it's, it's, it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. And then they just released their token this week too. So it's big stuff. So anything you want to add on that, Mr. Jones? Or should we progress? Or what do you think, man? Uh, I don't have anything to add. Uh, but it's it's... Like, I don't know if you can see this. It's not in there. Go to the blog post, man. I'm at the blog post. Well, read what they say. They say how to do you it. You open the Epic app. You can also update the app by, uh, it doesn't say how to install it initially. You might have to go to epics.com and then um, sign up too. But I'm just saying this is, <clears throat> this thing is brand new and it's, it's, it's new. And, and, and imagine if you were at Instagram when it started, imagine if you were at Facebook when it started, imagine if you were at Twitter when it started. Um, this is, this is potential, right? And for a year, don't, you're don't, I don't want to, I don't want to say it like that though. Right. So imagine you were at Facebook when it started, Instagram, when it started Twitter, when it started, but they paid you for the content that you create. Exactly. Think where you'd be right? Think where you'd be like 10 years ago when Facebook and Twitter showed up. Well, it was 12 years or so ago, but think of that. And then they started to pay you. That's what Epics does. That's what Steam does. So that's really exciting to me. I don't know about you guys, but that excites me, especially if I'm trying to build a business online and nine out of 10 people want to be social influencers. Well, here's a brand new social media platform based on Steam that is absolutely sexy time. So my recommendation is to check out epics um it might yeah might not be for every it's anyways i that's technical stuff so i'm just going to shut up and move on because way above my pay grade jen <clears throat> fourth thing is you want to 
be a part of a community, add value to a community. Most important thing is that you dive into a community. So kind of like what Blaine said, Eliana had some issues today um, with, with a question she had in CTP. She went to one of our Telegram groups. She asked it. Blaine got right back to her. But I noticed this in the main Telegram group a couple of days ago. There were some issues. People were asking questions. And I logged in and there was about 30 people answering. 30 people answering this person that had an issue and worked with them. Why is that? Because community is so important. It is, you guys know, I mean, that's the biggest, one of the biggest parts of my journey in online business is to be a part and build communities. I, I believe in it more than pretty much anything else when it comes to online business. I think it's that important, but you see it when people have a shared passion, when people have shared experiences, shared dreams, shared goals, community is built. You see it in Steam. You see it in Click Track Profit. You see it around the internet. You see it in different Facebook groups. You see it in different platforms. Community is king. Not content is king. Content is king. Yeah, sure. But community is king. It is absolutely amazing to experience being a part of a community. And this is the thing. You can't go into a community going, how am I going to sell these people? That's, that's the wrong way of thinking about this. You have to go into a community going, how do I add massive value to these people? How do I add to this community? How do I put my stamp into this to bring everybody up? You do that for the year. Remember, for the year. You just, just going back to what Blaine said, imagine if you were there way back when it started. You know, That's the same idea with community. Be there now, add value over the next year. Your business that brand, you will have an entire group of people that will support you for years and years and years and years and years. You just got to go into there saying, you know what? I want to add value. I'm not trying to take anything, right? I'm trying to add to this. And if you add to community, the community will support you forever and ever and ever and ever. What do you think of that, Blaine? Yeah. And just like uh, Jim said, we want to see each other succeed. Um, that's part of like my thing, my niche is I've always tried to help people succeed and help people do whatever that they're trying to do. Yep. So, and it's, it's just, it's that community mentality that you have to have. You're not out there by yourself. We're all here to help each other. So that's how you get ahead. I'll it's read. It's on Google play, but it's not. Oh, you guys will find it. I have faith in you. We, I, I, I say epics and everybody's like taught. They just want to get epics now. I'm telling you. It's, 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 it's pretty cool. Absolutely. Sean, it's, that's a really good point, dude. And it's something I learned from reading Brian Tracy book, books. Brian Tracy famously said, it's one of his more famous talks that he's given. And he talks about, and, and I've heard renditions of it and revisions of it from guys like Darren Hardy and a lot of these really, really successful dudes. Um, what he said was this, if you do not make the commitment to be there in a year from now, don't even start. It's so important that if you're going to get into any type of business, anything at all, dedicate a year to it. it it's, it's so important. It's the consistency law. It's, 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 you can't, it's like going to the back of the line every time you're like, we started the talk with Blaine was saying, people jumping from this program to this, to this, to this, to this. Every time you do that, you go to the back of the line. Remember the get in line, stay in line lesson we used to talk about at CTP years ago? Holds true today more than ever. You can't just go from this to this to this and expect to find success. Success comes to those who are consistent. Remember, consistency is the strategy. Huge. That's my opinion of it. So if you're getting into a business, be there in a year from now. Really important. And community can help you because it's not going to be rosy all the time, right? It's going to be, it's going to suck, man. It's, you got to embrace the suck. Like we've talked, it's going to be crappy. You're going to have days when you've put out this amazing piece of content and then you get John liking it at 10% and it's like a penny. And you're going to be like, I just put my blood, sweat and tears into this. Like, why, are, why isn't anybody else seeing this? So it's going to be rough. But if you make the commitment and you have the community, the community will lift you up when you're feeling grumpy <laughs> because we're all going to feel grumpy doing this stuff. Um, but I, I highly recommend that you guys, just like Sean said, 
If you're going to be in this, be there in a year from now, please. Or just don't get started because you'll get frustrated within three months. Guaranteed. Next one. Get ready for this. Here we go. You ready for this one, Blaine? Can we get a little drum roll? Number five in the things that you need to hide, Steve, welcome. What you need to be doing in this first year after you've discovered your one thing is you need to be building your list. From day one, where's the nugget? There we go. Wait, hold on. <clears throat> nugget. Okay. If I, I don't, I have a few things in life that I have regrets on. Like there's a few things if I look back, I'm like, well, I could have done this a little differently. But the major thing, the major thing is that, remember I told you I got started probably around 98, 99 is when I started trying to build a business online. I didn't make my first dollar until about 2003. If I could do it all over from that 1998, 1999 when I got started, I would have been building my list from day one. This is not one of these things that oh, I should look into it when I get a little bit of money. Or, oh, when I start seeing some success, I'll start building my list. Or, oh, in two years from now, I'm going to start building my contact list. No, 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 no. From day one. From day one. And it is the number one thing that you ask any professional online business person on the planet. If, if you ask them, if there was one thing, one asset you had, that you could, that you, you had to start over, what would it be? It would be your contact list. And I'll hammer home the point even, even harder here. And you guys have heard me talk about this. Years ago, when I started developing my business and I went and talked to my accountant, my accountant basically asked me, when, when you're setting up a corporation, you have to bring things in as assets, right? And the one thing, the first thing he asked me for was not your car or your, or your, or your homes or your, or, or whatever. They didn't, he didn't ask any, he said, I need to know how many people are on your customer slash contact list. That was the number one asset he asked for. That is how valued a customer or contact list is in business. Don't take my word for it. I'm an idiot half the times. Okay. <laughs> Go. To, this guy was like Ernst and Young, like one of the biggest accountant firms in North America. And what he wanted to know was, hi, Bonnie, welcome. Wanted to know, my contact list, how many people were on that mailing list. And we brought that over because back then it was like every person on your list was about a buck a month. That was kind of the, it varies, right? Depends on your, your relationship. But back then that was for sure. <laughs> you know, like that was, that was a legit thing. You had 10,000 people on your list. You were making 10 grand every month. I mean, that's what it was like back in the day. So it depends, but building your list. What do you think Blaine? How important is that to you, man? Yeah, even with uh, offline businesses, the most important thing to them, especially niche businesses, is their customer list, that contact list of people where if anything's starting to happen or anything's going on, they can easily mass email or call or whatever, all of those customers, all of those contacts and go, hey, this is what we got going on, come check it out. And they get that surge of, of people coming in. That's that, that customer list, that contact list uh, that every single business has today at this point. If, if, you, if you run into a business that does not have a list, refer them to Traffic Wave. Refer them to whatever your autoresponder is uh, because they need a list. That's the number one like business lesson that everybody should learn day one, minute one, hour one. Build your contact list. Yeah. From day one. Yeah. Like hammer this point home. If you have not yet heard it enough, folks, not next week, not next month, not six months from now when you make a little bit of money here and there. No, build your contact list from day one. That's how important it is. Very, very important. And you see offline businesses all the time with their uh, contact list. They go through these companies, these major companies, they don't even go directly to like constant contact or any of these other things. They go through these other companies that are like third party to the to the the autoresponder itself and they're paying hundreds of dollars a month mm -hmm. uh, for this contact list. Online it's great because it's 20 bucks a month. Super cheap, super easy, super simple. Yep. Yep, it's 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 that important. I just there was examples in chat there where people are saying, yeah, 
Like it's, it's offline, you know, can I get your email address when you're buying something in retail or, you know, any type of, yeah, just like Jen said with the hotel and stuff like they, they want your email address so they can follow up because the fortune's in the follow up, right? It's really hard. This is, this is business marketing 101 and, 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 and business acquisition 101. It is extremely hard to capture a customer. It's a lot easier to resell that customer once they purchase one thing. Why do you think OTOs, like one-time offers and login offers work so well? It's because as soon as someone signs up, that moment that they sign up is the prime time to sell them something. Think of McDonald's, the upsell. Would you like fries with that? Or would you like to upsize your fries? Classic example of this stuff. When someone's buying a Big Mac, damn it, they want some fries to go with that Big Mac. And you know what? For an extra 30 cents, sure, throw a little bit few more on top for me and we'll call it a day. Classic example of it. So yes, it's a lot easier to resell a customer than acquire a customer. Are we ready for the last point? Hope you guys are enjoying this. This is, uh, this is something I planned all day too. I put some effort into this, dang it. <laughs> I even wrote down notes and everything. The last thing, we're going to talk about content marketing, but there's a reason why. Now, we've done the social media. We've talked about building the community, building your list, uh, consistency, being there for a year. But content marketing is a huge part of your strategy for the next year. Here's why. Okay? Now, remember, when I said I got started online, it wasn't like, oh, I was an expert right away and, and everybody came to John to ask my opinion. It, it took time. Just like Blaine said with Tony's example, it takes time to build up that reputation. Well, as a content marketer, and I'm specifically talking about blogging now, okay? I'm not necessarily talking about social media. Social media and all that stuff is fantastic, but now we're talking content marketing in the form of blogging. Why we've set up CTP Talk for you guys as well. This leads to an amazing, amazing thing. The more, if you put all this together, you've been doing it for a year, you're consistent, you're doing the social media, you're part of a community, you're building your list, but then you wrap it all together with you doing a blog post, not every day, but let's say every week or a couple times a week. What happens after that year? What have you become? You've become um, the student. Now you've become the expert. Expert status. You become an authority figure on your one thing. And then you have a track record over the past year of developing content specifically to your one thing. Combining all of these things together, you are now looked at as someone that people will go to. And you know, this is the, the, the funny thing about selling online is when you stop trying to sell, you start selling more. This is where this authority figure and expert status comes into play. Because people are not going to be like, you know, you don't have to go, hey, Jen, go buy my stuff. All you've got to do is say, here's an offer. Jen will go and check it out. I'm, not, I'm just using Jen as an example. I'm not saying, you know, Jen, go buy stuff. I'm not saying that, but this is the, the strategy, right? Consistency is the strategy. Doing all this stuff, combining with your blogging each and every week, each and every, if you're daily, it's fine. I'm a little crazy. That's why I blog daily. But at least once or twice a week, you've now got 52 to 104 pieces of content, blog pieces of content that someone who's brand new to whatever your one thing is will start seeking you out and they'll start asking for your advice and they'll seek your leadership and then they'll start clicking on your links in your email lists this is how all this stuff works this is this is this is how you build a business online with that no i i don't know if you guys have noticed but the only thing that costs money in any of this was to get the autoresponder but traffic wave is 18 bucks a month. I mean, just don't eat a pizza once a week and you're good. So everything here doesn't cost a penny except for the email list. That's good. You know, Canva's free. If you want to upgrade, it's like 10 bucks a month, but you can use it for free. CTP Talk gives you a blogging platform that actually pays you. Epix pays you. Social media may not, but you use social media for leverage to funnel people into your offer. You can create an ebook for free using open office. You can go to Canva and get the design work done for yourself. If you want to throw 20 bucks into Fiverr to get it really nice, there's 20 bucks out of your pocket. But not one thing here is astronomically priced. There's only about 40 bucks worth of stuff here that costs anything. 
this is huge. This is huge. This is how you do this. This is how you do this. And I don't expect, I'm going to expand on this in a blog post later tonight. I've had this planned. I had it written down here. This is my nugget inside me that I, I, you know, I wrote down and I planned the talk on Monday that I wanted to talk about this on Thursday and the blog post will be here, but this is a beautiful cycle of life, man. This is a beautiful, beautiful way to do this without money. This is click track profit in a nutshell. This is CTP. This is what CTP is. Follow the rules of CTP. Follow the, the, the rules. Follow the lessons in CTP. Follow these quick little six little points here. Invest the year into yourself, not to me or Blaine. Don't invest, the, invest in yourself. Invest in your business. And just keep showing up. I, I'm telling you, man. You will go from beginner, noob, I don't even know how to turn on my computer into expert and authority figure within a year if you follow this. But again, this was, this was you, right? This is you, you having to work on this to discover this. Here's the tips that we can help you with, but now it's, it's really up to you. Like we can't force you, right? Me and Blaine can't like be beside you and go, okay, go, 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 go every day. It has to be you guys to say, okay, you know what? I'm going to dedicate a year to this. I'm going to be consistent. I'm going to use all the social media and cool new tools that are at my disposal. I'm going to be a part of a community. I'm going to build and add value to the community. I'm going to build my list each and every day. And I'm going to blog regularly, weekly, if not multiple times a week to build my authority and expert status up. Ladies and gentlemen, Thursday Night Live. Blaine, what do you think? <laughs> it's all part of, of, of building a business online or, or, or working online or working for yourself or however we're going to term it, right? You, you, there's nobody there to show you and go, you need to do this. You need to do this right now. You need to do that. You need to do that. And then that, so forth and so on. You're not clocking in or out. You don't have a boss. There's nobody to report to. You have to do all of this <coughs> on your own. You're your own boss. So whatever you decide to do, that weighs in on success or failure. If you decide to give up in 30 days, that's going to weigh in on your success or failure. You have to understand that owning a business does not mean that you're going to make a million dollars in 30 days. You're not gonna make a million dollars in a month, a year, two years, so forth and so on. You might, uh, but realistically, the majority of people are not. But can you make a sustainable living with it? Without a doubt, easily. Yep. Yeah, and it comes back, you know, the, the, the famous lesson, I guess, is the, the $2.74 lesson that I've taught for years and years and years. This will sh th that game plan will show you how to make the $2.74 a day, but then it'll grow. It'll grow to 27 bucks a day because if you're at 27 bucks a day, you're making five figures a year, and that's powerful because that separates you, right? Like that's 99% that's of the people that start online businesses will never reach $10,000 a year. They won't do it. They won't because it's too easy to say, ah, oh, this doesn't work and give up. Remember the consistency stuff we talked about earlier where the people that are screaming that it's not fair, they're not getting the big upvotes, they're not getting this, they're not getting that. Well, it's because they don't show up. They're not consistent about it. So if you, if, if you want all this stuff to work, you have to show up. But it, it, you start learning this stuff slowly but surely. $2.74 turns into 27. 27 turns into 50. 50 turns into 100. I remember the day like it was yesterday. I remember sitting my life was, was literally like at wit's end. I'd broken up with my kid's mother, my, my, my first kid. Um, I, was, I was sitting in a, in a, in a one-bedroom, two-bedroom apartment, excuse me. And all I had, all I had was my computer and a bag of clothes and a, and a couple of DVDs. That's all I had. I literally slept that first night on the floor using a garbage bag as a pillow with, filled with my clothes. And then I go and turn on my computer. I remember this like it was yesterday and I'm sitting there looking. This is when PayPal loved me. <laughs> PayPal used to give you what you'd made every day, right? You could see your daily totals and I'm sitting there and I'm looking and it's like 300 bucks, 320, 250, 370, 320. So for a, for a week and I go back and for months I'm sitting there, I'm making about $300 average a day. And I'm like, holy crap, I make six figures from my online business. Well, the next day I went and bought a bed and I could sleep on a bed next day. <laughs> so that was a good thing. But this was, you remember I told you I started in 1998. This wasn't until 2006, right? 2006 probably. So that's eight years. That's, that's a long time. And a lot of time, a lot of people would give up. Most people would. 
but that's how it works. It happens because you keep showing up. You keep showing up. You keep showing up. Absolutely, Jen. And everybody's got a story, right? And everybody has a story and you should share that story, especially in your blog. You should be sharing stories. That's what people relate to the most, but yeah, uh, it, it didn't, it didn't happen overnight. And just like Blaine said, it wasn't a million bucks, but it was, you know what? I started learning how to make five bucks online. Then I started making 10 bucks. Then I started making 20, 30, 40, 50. And it just kept increasing because I kept showing up. I kept being stubborn about it. But, you know, those were different days when PayPal loved us. <laughs> so, there you Going go. back uh, to, to being an expert on things, uh, you talked to, it, you took eight years to, to start making that six figures. Uh, mine is about the five, six year mark. Uh, and it wasn't until I launched uh, a website, I don't know, it's still around, I think, uh, TE Basics. Uh, literally, all I did was become an expert on traffic exchanges, and I wrote ebooks for specific traffic exchanges and how to run through the basics of that website. And I just wrote that, I took screenshots, and I created a membership from that. And that grew and continue to grow into uh, what I know and do today. And it's everything uh, all encompassing. So become an expert on something. Mine for the longest time was knowing the basics of traffic exchanges and how to operate them. So you could download one separate ebook for a whole bunch of different exchanges. That was a classic program too, man. It was it exciting. Junk design when it first launched. But hey I man. You know, I mean, uh, Linda's graphics design, right? Didn't she do it? No, it wasn't. I no. made it off of, uh, I found a do like I Googled, like pro web design. Because mm. this is back before all these big design capabilities and all these other things, so. Yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 it's fascinating. I mean, this, uh, people might overlook that little piece of advice that me and Blaine gave throughout the, the night here, but writing an ebook is a damn good game plan to get started. It's so easy. And it's got like, there's grammar check and there's like spell check inside. Open Office is free. If you don't have Microsoft Office, you can download. Yeah, I use, Office. I've never used Microsoft Office. Open Office is free. Yep. Right. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed tonight. I'm going to shut down the recording. Um, everybody that's watching this on uh, YouTube, thanks for watching. And uh, the blog post will be up later. And uh, be sure to download our little PDF inside of YouTube so you guys can play along with us throughout the video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Toodles, YouTube. Bye-bye.